Get ready for Buzz TV adventure. Exploring and discovering exciting destinations. My mother always told me I would make it to Broadway. And that's where we are. We're in Felsmere. And this is Broadway in Felsmere. Now, Felsmere is full of all kinds of great things. And we're here on an adventure to do a little bit of discovering. Felsmere is full of history. Uh, in fact, Felsmere was, was Indian River County's biggest city at one point. We're across from the historic church. Felsmere is full of history, good people, and great food. As a matter of fact, we're, we're right next door here to Marsh Landing, historically known for its great food because this was originally the Felsmere Estates building over here. And hopefully we're gonna, we're gonna get a chance to stop in there. So let's see, what have we got so far in Felsmere? You know, they've, they've got history. Great people, great food, hmm, what else? Oh, they've got the Frog Leg Festival, of course, and, uh, oh, I bet they've got some horses here in Felsmere, too. Well, they have rodeos all the time, also. Felsmere is a great place to be. Now, let's see. Great food, good people. Hey, what's this? Fresh shrimp. Happy, healthy shrimp. Fresh, never frozen, no harmful chemicals. High quality, sushi grade, all natural and delicious. Friends don't let friends eat imported shrimp. Hey, this is where the Florida Aquaculture Company, uh, and they've got a, a retail market where they sell their fresh shrimp that they grow. I'd like to take a look at that. Let's, um, let's go inside and have a look, shall we? Come on, let's go. We are inside the newest addition to Felsmere, and we are where? We're at Felsmere Fresh Farmers Market. Why is this store here? Well, ever since we broke ground at the farm, there's been such a desire for us. And you refer to the farm. The farm is? Florida Organic Aquaculture. We're the all-natural shrimp farm out west in Felsmere, Florida. Uh, we broke ground two years ago in April. And since the word of the farm developing has been out to the public, there's been such a high demand to get the product out to the general public in the area. Um, at first, before we had a processing plant, we set up with a live haul truck out front, knowing that eventually we would get into this building to remodel it to make it our retail store. This building um, is, has been uh, on Broadway for a long time. Can you tell me a little bit about the history of the building itself? Well, from what I know, the building has been many uh, different entities. It's been a barber shop, a pediatrician's office, it used to be Grange Hall. Um, so there's been quite a few occupants in the past here. Cool. But you're on historic property. I mean, right. Broadway and Felsmere is, is the you know, number, number one historic location. You wouldn't want to be anywhere else, right? No, not at all. I feel like this is a great place for us also. Uh, one, it's a, it's a hub of uh, agriculture. And the whole idea of us being at this location, especially on Broadway, right next door to Historical Marsh Landing, is trying to pair up and showcase what Felsman really has to offer. Growing up in the area, there's been plenty of my friends who they know of Felsman, but don't really know what's out here. So that was another idea for what we wanted to showcase inside our store, which is sourced locally uh, local vendors. Chris Aversa is the uh, marketing manager, the manager of the, what is the name of the, the, the store? Felsmere Fresh Farmers Market. Of the Felsmere Fresh Farmers Market, right here on Broadway. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back and look at some of those showcases. See Arts in Depth with Barbara Hoffman, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 and 10 p.m. Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage, but you can pay too much. 
As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualified for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN, get covered, save money. One of a kind videos, unique perspectives, original programming only on Buzz TV Network. Spread the word and tell a friend. Welcome back to Buzz TV Adventure. I'm Jeff Vogel and Chris Aversa is the manager of the Felsmere Fresh Farmers Market the newest addition to Felsmere. And we're standing in front of, what are we standing in front of? A display of what? What's back here? Well, as I mentioned earlier, everything we have displayed in the store is sourced locally. So these are a few of the vendors that we actually have in our storefront currently. We have uh, Toodles by Nancy, who gives us our local honey. Um, these are, yes, in the honey we have actually four different flavors. Uh, we have wildflower, orange blossom, almond, and saw palmetto. Uh, many, many other items that you can bring to us. Uh, down here we have our cottage garden teas. There are two ladies from uh, West Palm. They actually source their own herbs, hand mix them themselves, and uh, do their packaging on their own. Uh, Before we go any further, sure. if there's, or farther, if there's uh, someone who um, puts out a locally produced product, is, it, is there a possibility that they could market it here at the Felsmere Fresh Farmers Market? Yes, the, there are a few requirements that we need to actually showcase. Oh, yeah, I mean, taste testing, for sure. Well, samples are always welcomed. Um, just the usual uh, requirements by the states to actually showcase in the store, but one thing that we are going to make available that we really want to have here as soon as we can and probably partner up with the uh, grand opening, we're going to utilize a green space outside next door to our building. So the vendors that we cannot actually carry inside the building we're going to give them an opportunity once or twice a month to pair up with our local farmer's market associated with a special event inside the store as well. Okay, and that would be like for fresh produce? Really, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be produce, but we're going to keep the farmer's market feel. So artisans that create their own uh, wares, uh, consumable goods. Anything you could imagine that could be handcrafted or grown locally, right. you'd be featuring out in, this, in the side yard, basically. Correct. Yeah. All right, let's, keep, let's continue with our shopping list here, okay? Sure. What's, what's over on this shelf here? So this is Granny Pucker's Pickling, and uh, what they do... Have you ever met Granny Pucker? <laughs> yes, and it's actually a gentleman named Todd. <laughs> he does... So Granny Pucker is a guy named Todd, all right. <laughs> it was his, his, uh, his okay. company, his branding. Okay. Um, him and his wife, uh, they have Granny Puckers, and they do all at home pickling, from salsas, okras, relishes, pickles, and when we cleaned out my grandmother's house 20 years ago, there were jars looking just like this in her basement that had been sitting down in her basement, who knows for how long. But this is, um, this is fresh and locally produced, yeah? Correct. Yeah, it's all hand, hand mixed and pickled by himself. How many varieties are here, do you think? He has uh, between 15 and 20 recipes. Uh, always talking to me about different, um, different and upcoming things he has in mind and playing around with. So the items we are going to be carrying on our shelves will be semi-consistent and always revolving for what's in season depending on what he can make. And there's stuff probably here that you're not going to find at the grocery store, right? No, and I could say also not to the quality that we carry because it has that homegrown feel, that extra touch and love and care that the vendors put into it because it's their own goods. We're going to take a quick break and then we're going to continue our shopping here at the Felsmere Fresh Farmers Market. Don't go anywhere. We're coming right back. Join us for an adventure weekdays at 4.30 and 8.30 on Buzz TV Network. Watch Sebastian Plus at 7 and 11 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays on SebastianBuzzTV.com. Attention, this important message is for any American who is about to turn 65 years of age or older. Nation's Helpline has Medicare supplement insurance news that may benefit you, your family, or someone you know. Most Americans who are about to turn 65 years old know they need Medicare supplement insurance, even if they already have Medicare. The Nation's Helpline Medicare supplement team can guide you and help answer your Medicare questions. Call today. Please call 800-632-2804.
Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Hi, I'm Penny Chandler. I'm, I'm Freddie Woolfolk. I am Barbara Hoffman. And I'm Gregory Simpson. I'm here with Police Chief David Curry. You're in good company on VeroBuzzTV.com, Vero Beach's local TV station on the internet. I just love, love it. it. Tell a friend. Yeah. We love y'all! Chris Aversa is the manager at the Felsmere Fresh Farmers Market where you want to come out here. When are you open? Right now we're open seven days a week. Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday from 10 to 6, Saturdays from 9 to 4, and Sundays from 9 to 2. Did I hear you correctly that you grew up in the area? That is correct. I actually grew up in Vero Beach, Florida. Um, graduated high school, stayed in Florida through college, graduated from FSU, and eventually found my way back here. And how did you find your way back here? How did you get involved in this operation? Through a family network, I could say. My sister started off in the office before... You had connections. <laughs> being, being born and raised, it's, uh, you always know somebody through somebody. But, but are you qualified to do this? I would like to think so. <laughs> okay, let's, let's continue our shopping list here, okay? Um, what's, what's on the, what is the Fat Cat stuff up there? What's that? Fat Cat is a company in Orlando that makes and brands their own hot sauce. So right now we have, I'd like to say, our starter kit of a few flavors to just get them out to the, uh, the store and get them on our shelves. Ranging from uh, heat, has a, his, his scale is 1 to 10 on the heat, so okay. we have a little bit of everything for everybody. So if you like something sweet with just a little ting on your tongue, we've got that for you. If you like something that burns and you want to see your friends sweat a little bit, we've got that as well. How many of these products have you personally tried? Of all of these, are the pickling and the relishes and the hot sauces, the honey, the teas, have you personally tried some of these? I could say safely about 80% of what we have on the shelves I have tried myself or bought to take home and, uh, and keep in my own shelves. Okay. So, you, so you've got a few of your favorites, yeah? Oh yeah, of course. I mean, if somebody asked you what you would recommend, you could point something out? Definitely. Uh, depends on really what you like. So what, what, what do you like in terms of, let's say, hot sauces or pickling? Maybe I could help sell um, you. Well, I like dill pickles okay. and I like mild, uh, mild sauces. Okay. Right now we have three different, uh, you could say, flavors. Yeah, I'm not fond of sweet pickles, but that's, I mean, that's just a personal thing. Other people prefer them. So what have you got along the dill line? Well, dill, we don't have specifically. Uh, we do have his regular pickles, the twisted spicy pickles, and the twisted extra garlic. Well, maybe, maybe I just want a regular pickle, I think, in, in that case. Okay. <laughs> so then this would be right up your alley. Okay. I mean, that looks like what I, what I would like, is they're, they're twisted pickle spears. What makes them twisted? Well, the fun thing with Granny Puckers is he's got some pretty catchy names for okay. all his labels. So when you come here and you look on the shelves, you might get a, a good chuckle off of some of the labels, but that's, I think, a really... A really good selling point for him because when you walk out these doors, you will remember him. Well, I'm thinking it should say twisted dill pickle spears myself, personally, and then I, and then I probably would would buy it. But that looks like I mean, if I was shopping, that's what I would pick up. Well, with and the mile, go ahead. With all the vendors we carry, that's actually one thing that we've been really pushing for is the fact that whoever we showcase, if you don't see what you like on our shelves that this vendor is showcasing here, we can put in a specific order for you. They will make it, bring it to the store, and we will give you a call to let you know when it is available. Yeah, I can see this operation. They just go in the back room, they get a magic marker, they write dill on the, on the <laughs> bottle. All right, we're back to your qualifications. What makes you qualified to do this again? Right, did you go to school for marketing, for, for, pro, for store? Have you ever been worked in a store before? Do you know how to work a cash register? <laughs> yes. Uh, I actually, before, uh, before he... We got to take a break. We're going to find out what his qualifications are when we come right back. Join Marsha Littlejohn nightly at 5 and 9 on VeroBuzzTV.com. Stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics. In downtown Vero Beach, owner Patty Callahan prints it all. From color and black and white copies to blueprints, banners, signs, prints of paintings, and fine art, Patty makes restorations and creates outstanding graphic designs. 
Call Patty at 770-1521 or stop by Patty's Printing and Graphics at 2345 14th Avenue. Stop by for all of your printing needs at Patty's Printing and Graphics across from the old railroad station in downtown Vero Beach. Happy Healthy Shrimp. That's what they've got here at the Felsmere Fresh Farmers Market. And Chris Aversa is the manager of the store. This place is on Broadway and it's right next to Marsh Landing. You gotta come here. And uh, we were talking about Chris Aversa's qualifications to run the far Felsmere Fresh Farmers Market. All right, you know how to work a cash register, yes? What other skills have you got? Well. Growing up, like most kids, I started off for a couple jobs in retail. Sales has been something that has always kind of come easy to me. Um, after graduating college, like most people did, I got a job bartending, ended up taking over a few, a few bars as manager, which gave me the managerial skills, sales skills, and um, which has really kind of helped me get a good foundation for setting up inventory, getting, getting the ball rolling. But I can't take a lot of credit for it. I've had a huge amount of help from my coworkers and from uh, from the farm itself. Yeah. Um, what is the Fels, What is the um, Florida Aquaculture's involvement with the with the store itself? Well, the shrimp. In a sense, we are the shrimp farm. Um, this this building is it is under FOA. FOA is Florida Organic Aquaculture. Okay. Yeah. So it's the this all natural shrimp farm in Felsmere. This store is all about the shrimp. Yes. Well, yes and no. As I mentioned earlier, we, it is a showcase for our product, but not just us. We want to make this a, a showcase for all local artisans and vendors. So, of course, our, our shrimp is our product and we want to get it out, get, get the name to the, out to the general public. Is your shrimp the best shrimp on earth? I might be a little biased, but I am going to say yes. Growing up in Florida, I grew up... As, as manager of the Felsmere Fresh Farmer's Market, if you, if you sent me down the road to buy shrimp, I'd be disappointed, wouldn't I? Uh, I would definitely say so. You should stay here. You should tell your friends to come here. Okay. So what, so what, uh, what options are there in terms of the shrimp that you sell here? Okay, so... And do you have any on... I mean, what, is that what's back here? Yes, yeah, so all, everything in the display case here as well as the display freezer in the corner is going to be our shrimp. Now, we grow the Panaeus Baname, which is the Pacific White Shrimp. Um, we take, we have on the farm itself, uh, it's all fully vertically integrated. We have our own hatchery, nursery, and grow out and processing facility. So we can take it from maturation, where we breed them, all the way to packaging, which you see here in the store. Right now we can offer the full range of sizes that we carry at the farm and can grow on the farm and multiple different ways of packaging and displaying them. Uh, now the farm is just down the road, isn't it? Correct. It's just a few miles west of here. So this shrimp has not been uh, packaged, frozen, and sent halfway around the world, uh, or and been sitting in a in a freezer for months on end. This is how many days old would this shrimp be? Typically, for here, we source our shrimp daily from the farm, um, which means if it is in this case, it is if you get here early enough, probably within 12 hours of being out of the water. You can't, you can't get any fresher than that, can you? No, you can't. Not unless you go to the ocean or river and catch them yourself. Yeah. Okay. You've got, you've got uh, also in the store, you've got, uh, you've got all kinds of relishes. Um, and uh, I don't see any, any jellies at the moment, but you ought to have some jellies and jams in here, yeah? Yes. And we are actively looking for more vendors. As we mentioned, there's, we're trying to keep the down-home farmer's market right. feel. And, Right now, it's been, we've contacted a ton of vendors locally between uh, Indian River County and South here. Uh, we say local, trying to keep it South Florida, but we're looking for a wide range of products to carry. My next question has to do with if a person really is used to uh, buying shrimp in a restaurant, but they're, they're buying it here to take home and cook, whether or not they know what they're doing when they get there and whether or not you can give any advice. Um, that's Chris Aversa, whether he, the manager of the store, can give them any advice about how to cook up their shrimp. We'll find out the answer to that question when we come right back. Watch Chamber Buzz at 6 and 10 p.m. Mondays and Wednesdays on HeroBuzzTV.com. 
The Furniture Man is a locally owned business that has served the needs of the community of Vera Beach in Indian River County for over 30 years. Here at The Furniture Man, we offer fine pieces to furnish each and every room of your home. Specializing in Floridian style, come browse our selection of bedroom, dining room, patio, and living room. Come explore over 10,000 square feet of showroom where you can find mattresses, recliners, sofas, dining, and more. Visit us at 673 US 1 in Vero Beach, Monday through Saturday, for all of your furniture needs. Buzz TV Network is now the fastest growing new media outlet on the Space and Treasure Coast. Follow Buzz TV Network and tell a friend. We're at the Felsmere Fresh Farmers Market, and this is Chris Aversa. He's the store manager. If somebody, if somebody needs some advice on how to cook shrimp, can you give them any advice? Of course. It really comes down to, and what I usually ask people when they come in and they bought, purchase uh, our shrimp, like, well, how would you cook it? So I ask them, well, what's your plans for dinner? And I'll try to give them advice on how they're cooking it for what they're planning to eat that night and or give them examples of what I've used them for in my dishes at home also. Um, the one thing to keep in mind with our shrimp, since it is all natural, it does cook a lot faster than most store-bought shrimp. Um, so we recommend 90 seconds to no more than two minutes. And to actually showcase the flavor, if people say, I've never had your shrimp, what's it taste like? I can give you all of our buzzwords, and I can say personally, it's by far the sweetest shrimp I've ever had. Growing up in Florida, I grew up on seafood. And as far as taking store-bought, catching it in the river myself, to coming to here, it's the sweetest. It has a slight nutty and buttery flavor, and as you get to our larger sizes, a little bit of a lobster-esque taste to it as well. Um, so if people haven't had it before, I'll suggest just go home, do a portion aside, and steam them. That way it'll give you the purest flavor of what the shrimp tastes like itself. But the best part about it is we can offer it whole as well, which we are featuring now. And most people aren't really used to seeing the whole shrimp in the local restaurants and trying to, um, we'll have a way, to, we have here, ask us for our recipes. So the best thing in my opinion about a whole shrimp, the head, the shell, that's where all the flavor comes from, the extra flavor. We have recipes to give you instructions on easy ways to make your own shrimp, uh, shrimp broth or butter, depending on what really you're uh, trying to cook that night. Okay, two questions. What makes this shrimp organic? We are certified all natural. The funny thing with the USDA is there's actually no guidelines to certify farm-raised seafood as organic just yet. The last World Aquaculture uh, Society convention, they said that they were coming out with the guidelines to initiate that. So as of right now, we are certified all natural. Florida Organic Aquaculture is our, our name. What? What makes this shrimp all natural? So it comes down to the whole process. Okay. From our feed, the grow out system. We don't grow our shrimp in the traditional clear saltwater uh, ponds. We grow them in what's called bioflock. So bioflock, it's, it is the water, the water's alive. So it's filled with probiotic bacteria and, and algae. So that does two major things for us. It supplements as feed for the animals, as well as helps control the water quality, which minimizes maintenance on, for our staff to con control the ponds. Can you guarantee there are no harmful chemicals added to this shrimp? We do not have any additives, no antibiotics, no chemicals. Everything is all natural, straight from grow out to, uh, to process. And you can guarantee this is fresh shrimp? It is fresh as it can come. Where do people need to go if they want to come here? How do they get here? So we are in Felsmere, Florida, directly west off of uh, 95, off of Broadway Street at 32 North Broadway. Okay, Chris Aversa, this is going to be a great place for folks to shop for locally grown stuff, locally made stuff, lo shrimp, uh, and, the, and the inventory is just going to keep growing and growing, right? Correct. We are actively sourcing new vendors every day. and. If you frequent our store, you will see everything build up and come check out our new items. Chris Aversa has been showing us around the new Felsmere Fresh Farmers Market on Broadway in Felsmere. We're going to stop next door to Marsh Landing in just a moment. Come right back.
Freddie Wilfrick and Gregory Simpson invite you to Spotlight Indian River weeknights at 6.30 and 10.30. Attention, this important message is for any American who is about to turn 65 years of age or older. Nation's Helpline has Medicare supplement insurance news that may benefit you, your family, or someone you know. Most Americans who are about to turn 65 years old know they need Medicare supplement insurance, even if they already have Medicare. The Nation's Helpline Medicare supplement team can guide you and help answer your Medicare questions. Call today. Please call 800-632-2804. We're at Marsh Landing, uh, right next door to the uh, Felsmere Fresh Farmers Market. Susan Adams, this is a historic building, isn't it? It is. This is the historic Felsmere States Corporation building. It was built in 1926. And it served Felsmere in how many different ways over the years? Oh, multiple different ways. It was an office building um, for the Felsmere States Corporation, which was the land sales office for Felsmere. Um, after that, it served as the headquarters for Felsmere Crystals, which I think everybody knows better now as Florida Crystals when they moved down south. Um, the city used it for several years as a community center. Um, we have customers that remember having their high school prom in this building. How neat is that? Um, they used it for meetings. They used it for administrative offices. They actually also used it for the police department at one time. And where our lounge is now, there was a big safe in there. It was the clerk's office. And the police officers, if they arrested somebody, they did not have enough people in town to transport them to the jail, so they would put them in the safe for the night. So it was very secure. <laughs> but it's been multiple different things. Um, it was it was uh, fell into dis some disrepair, um, and it sat empty for about 30 years before um, my mother actually bought it um, from the city at auction. Why do people like coming here? Now, f number one, the food is great because I've eaten here. <laughs> Of course. Well, thank you. We try to fill you up, um, and we use a lot of my grandmother's recipes. My, yeah, my mom grew up in North Carolina, so we use a lot of those traditional Southern recipes with our food, as well as local delicacies. Um, but people like to come. We're a little bit of a museum and a restaurant all at one. Um, we have a lot of the history of town, the newspapers and the tables, and the pictures on the walls, and even the artifacts that we have hanging up. You know, people clean out their garage, and they bring us interesting implements. We have some of the local cattlemen's original brands and that type of stuff. So we like to tell the story of town um, through the history and the things as well as the food. So it's just a good time. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Uh, anyone who has not been to Felsmere, can you give me three great reasons why they should drive out here? Why they should drive out here? Well, it's where all the cool people are. You never know what you're going to find on a dusty road in Felsmere. And there's no better place to be than Felsmere. It's great. And number four, the food is great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Now that health reform is law, you cannot be denied health insurance coverage, but you can pay too much. As a single mom, I was convinced that we could not afford health insurance until I spoke to the people from ICANN, who told me that I qualified for a special enrollment and a subsidized rate. Now I get so much more for so much less. Call now and get the ICANN mobile app free. So don't wait another minute. Call ICANN, get covered, save money. Watch Sebastian Plus at 7 and 11 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays on SebastianBuzzTV.com. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Hi, I'm Penny Chandler. I'm, I'm Freddie Woolfolk. I am Barbara Hoffman. And I'm Gregory Simpson. I'm here with Police Chief David Curry. You're in good company on VeroBuzzTV.com, Vero Beach's local TV station on the internet. I just love, love it. Tell a friend. Yeah. We love you.